Okay, so you guys can see that this is the uh, storage room for all our empty boxes. And as you can tell, it reaches the ceiling. So if you can kind of guesstimate about how much we probably spent over the years, um, it's a pretty damn good amount of shoes. So, um, and then of course, my wife's retro collection, Kobe collection, retros, retros, her LeBron collection. And then we just kind of throw shit around because we're lazy. So, um, of course, you can see her shoes. But um, I'll show you my closet next once I get it reorganized. And in the last video that I showed you, I showed you a, a stop motion of every retro drawing I had, except for maybe the uh, Five Lab Three and a couple of the ones. I think like the Joker, Joker, Crim, uh, Retro Three Joker. But um, I haven't had a chance to do any in-depth review. I'm looking for a good shoe to uh, actually play basketball in because you know the um, the you know you just don't want to play in the retros because you know you don't want to damage them of course because you know you're only limited to one pair so I'm thinking about maybe getting the uh, LeBron Soldier 8 um, I don't know how it feels but I got two coupons that should get me $40 off of the price so I'm going to uh, probably get that shoe next to use to uh, play as a ball in, uh, shoot the ball in um, lately I've, I've been using the uh, Charlotte Charles Barkley uh, Posit Max to uh, kind of hoop in. I'm not exactly like playing like one on one or you know, um, you know, in a in any type of leagues or anything like that. But I just go out there and I shoot around for fun, just to try and rebuild my skills as a shooter. Um, I'm not tall and I don't have a big frame, a big body frame, so you know, it's a little bit more difficult for me to actually you know get past defenders and um, you know actually be able to get the ball up. So, um, I'm just looking for a cheap shoe to, uh, you know, to play some ball in, just casually shoot, not something too expensive and, uh, you know, to wear, um, you know, just to, uh, just to have some fun and exercise. But, um, I was thinking about the LeBron Zoom Soldier 8, um, I think it's like $139. If they let me use my coupons, then I can get like $40 off of it. So I think that might be a good good shoe, but after the reviews of uh, Nightwing that he did on the LeBron Zo Zoom Soldier 8, um, he said that um, the uh, bottom grip would probably start to wear out pretty quickly if you played on like a concrete um, non-wood floor. So either way, I'm still looking, like I said, I'm still looking for a suggest you know, a shoe. So if you guys have any suggestions on a good cheap shoe to play ball in, let me know. If not, I'm gonna have to use one of my uh, one of my retros or um, maybe the Positive Max. Or uh, I was even thinking about using the CP3 from the Brazil pack to even play because um, I really don't want to damage any of my retros. Um, you know because uh, I really didn't even care about that uh, CP3. To tell you the truth, um, it was okay. It's a nice looking shoe, but um, I, the Barkley Posit Max um, down here in Texas is really hot so as I run around it starts to warm up my feet and it starts to get hot there doesn't seem to be very much uh, air ventilation in it so that's why I'm trying to look for a decent shoe to actually um, you know play ball and you know try to run around and then uh, you know shoot some hoops so the next video that I get and if I do get those shoes then I'll show you some uh, some just quick clips of me shooting the ball around to show you that you know I do actually have some skill and um, you know the guys don't think that I just collect shoes just so I can show off you know my shoe game but um, if you guys have any suggestions on a good shoe to get please comment rate subscribe and uh, Tell me what your thoughts are of uh, which shoe you think is the best ball, best shoe to hoop in. Alright? Well, anyway, I'm just gonna conclude this video and, um, you know, wait to hear it, just wait to see what you guys say. So, peace.